Okay, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and honors and citations to the elect Akim, doing these works in sincerity and in truth. And so, um, yeah, I got this news, this news clip here. Of a pretty much a Jake, he shot up his uh high school after a football game, man. You know he shot up ten people, man. So I'm gonna let this video play, and uh get into some prophecies. We are following breaking updates out of Mobile, Alabama, where a high school student accused of shooting at least ten teenagers after a high school football game last night. Five of those victims Let's are. Let's go back and look at this actually. Let's go back and look at these people, man. Dates out of Mobile, Alabama, where a high school student accused of shooting. You see him getting low. You know, look at the elderly Jake. Looks like he got a fro. He's trying to get low. At least ten teenagers. Look at them. They scared to death. Look, look, look. You got people under the bench. All right. Yeah, it looks. It looks like there's somebody under the damn bench to the left. After a high school football game last night. Five of those victims are in critical condition. The police chief says 17-year-old D'Angelo Parnell was seen on security video firing shots into the crowd. He turned right, himself... So you can only imagine that anyway. You know, firing shots into the crowd, people panicking. All right. Look, man, it, the Lord is stirring up. Stirring up fear, man, amongst you people. Yeah, how about Shmuel Shai is not happy with you, with you people, man. With two-thirds of his own people. Damn sure what the heathen do. Well, he, the scriptures already say that. Alright, Zechariah 1 and 15. For I was so displeased with the heathen that are at ease. Okay. So look, man. Crazy. More and more crazy times is going to come into America. There's not going to be less shooting. There's going to be more shootings. Okay. Been to police early this morning and is charged with nine counts of attempted murder. Police are still looking for answers as to if anyone else was involved or knew beforehand about the shooting. It was a it was a cowardly act by an individual uh, that did not know how to deal with the conflict or the disagreement that he was having with somebody else other than uh, recklessly discharging a firearm into a, a crowded venue. Security video fire. Yeah, and you see, people just don't look at the Jake. Let's go back and look at this. Anyone else was involved or knew beforehand about the shooting? It was a, it was a cowardly. Well, you just don't care no more. <laughs> well, a lot of you people in, in America is frustrated, man. Proverbs 29 and 2. For when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So people not caring no more about their lives. They're not caring no more about other people's lives. People are fed up. They're living paycheck to paycheck. Still got to pay bills. All right. People, people in here in America are fed up, man. This place is through. Why? Because the so-called white man is ruling. He can't rule for shit. That's why the scriptures say in due time, he setteth up over one that is profitable to rule over the earth. Man, you watch, man, when we come back under the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashimashai. With Yahweh Shai is here back on earth. King David is uh, back over of uh, uh, of being king. Man, it's going to man, it's going to be beautiful, man. Nobody's going to be living like this. But let's check it out because we had another shooting just last night as well. And this is what happened with the last two shootings. <clears throat> okay, they were back to back. One was in Dayton, Ohio. I forget what the other one was already. But uh, let's look up. Because this one was in uh, Odessa, Texas. The Odessa, Texas shooting. You see? The death toll rises to eat. Alright. Let's, let's check this Good morning and welcome to Face the Nation, where we are covering two big stories this Labor Day weekend. We begin with the shooting rampage in West Texas yesterday afternoon. Now you just had the shooting in Alabama. Now, now and, and within the same token, the same damn day, 
pretty much. It was a shooting in Odessa, Texas. CBS This Morning lead national correspondent David Begno is in Odessa. David? Margaret, good morning. This gunman terrorized two different cities in broad daylight. He first opened fire on police officers and then started shooting randomly at people who were driving on the interstate. Among the dead is a high school student. A 17-month-old baby girl was shot. Behind me is where it all ended. That's where you're going to see the police car and the mail postal service van as we zoom in. What happened according to eyewitness video is the gunman who had hijacked the postal service van was driving right for a police car when officers opened fire on him. Here's more on how it all started. The gunman at some point ditched his vehicle and hijacked a U.S. postal service van. And then he started shooting at people on the freeway. Mm. He's shooting him, he's shooting him. The gunman was oh, killed in a shootout with police. It happened right outside of a movie theater. Seven people are dead, not including the shooter. 21 oh, are injured. Man. Among the injured is a 17-month-old girl who was hit in the face with shrapnel. Ooh. In total, three law enforcement officers were shot. Seven of the victims are listed in critical condition at a local hospital. This was a joint effort by just a uh, multitude... Yeah, See, so things ain't going to get better here in America. Things are going to get worse. All right, so this is going to lead me to my first scripture that I'm going to read. <clears throat> because, look, man, time's going to come when Esau is just going to take the guns. Okay? Esau is just going to try and come up and straight up take the guns, man. All right, so I'm going to read... um. Yeah, second edges. All right, chapter nine, verse one it says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself.' Look, this ain't gonna be an average, normal thing, man. All right, it's been going on for some damn time, but it's all of a build-up, man. All right, it's all part of a, of an, an agenda that these damn elites got. Okay." They want to strip those guns, man. This is part of that, that system, man. This is part of the image of the beast. Part of that image of the beast is for these people not to have no more weapons. They're going to have an RFID chip in them. And they're going to be serious sheep. Alright? They call it what? The sheeple. The sheep is absolutely no threat. So for you people to have your guns, you, you will remain threats. For you people to uh, be rebellious, show any signs of rebellion... You remain a threat. That's where you got the red list, the blue list, the yellow list. Okay. So it says he, uh, second address nine and one again. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, that, uh, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which ye made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. You see that? So, that's th this is going to cause what? Uproars of the people. Okay? Let me actually, um, I'll switch over and uh, get it here, man. I'll just read from here, Khan. Second edition nine and uh But as you can see, so right, this is gonna cause what? Uproars of the people, man. People are gonna be protesting the street, you're not taking my guns. We got the right to keep our guns. You're gonna be protesting for that. You're gonna have the nigga woman protesting because she wants her uh she wants her benefits back, her child support isn't coming in. Scripture say the vintage shall fail. You're going to have all these different protests and everybody's going to be on edge. Uh, somebody's going to say something to somebody and, hey, all, all hell's going to break loose, man. All right. This is, uh, this is part of that agenda, man. Problem, reaction, solution. There's numerous problems just springing all from out from, from the earth, man, that the so-called white man is causing. And there's going to be a solution to it all. That RFID chip. Okay. So all these shootings are happening man. 
whether some of them are staged or some of them is real. Like that, like that Jake, the first one, that Jake nigga was probably real, man. You know, probably fed up. And he really probably shot them niggas, man. <laughs> you know? But uh, regardless, it's all tying into Esau's agenda. Okay, so this is um, uh, Psalm chapter 64, verse 6. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. You see? So this is a deep thing that they have been planning for generations, man. All right. Aaron Russo aired it out of what they want to do and all of their plans, how they plan on going into Iran. So they think deep, man. And they meditate. They call upon demons. They do drugs like LSD, DMT, shrooms. All right. They drink blood. They do spirit cooking. And they call upon these demons, man, to, 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 to give them counsel on how to achieve their enterprise, man. Okay, so as you keep seeing these shootings, don't think that this is just going to be something normal. Oh, this is another shooting. Oh, just another shooting. No, man, it's a build-up, man. It's a build-up. You never know. Trump might come on TV and read off about an hour of all the shootings. Like, yo, these are just the shootings from the past three years. And you might just go on and on, on and on, on and on, on and on. And now we finally decided to do something about it. We're going to go door to door because um that's uh, Man. So, measure the other times, what, diligently within itself. Exactly what I'm, what I'm doing now. Um, so... I don't know what's in. So, like, man, bear with me. Um, let me just get it in my in my sword. Bear with me, so like it. I haven't pulled it in a while, but um. Yeah, man, pretty much, you know, it goes, uh, let a cry be heard. Yeah, here it is right here. I don't know why I didn't. Wow. So, see, it's supposed to be Jeremiah, all right, chapter 18. Typed it in, and it's not even on here, man. So, guess what? That's Satan, man. All right. So, yeah, that's Satan, man. So, yeah, that's Satan, man. So, anyway, this is a Jeremiah 18 and 22, which reads, Let a cry be heard from their houses when I shall bring a troop suddenly upon them. Right. They're going to be going door to door, okay, taking guns, taking people from the red list. All right, dragging people to concentration camps, putting down resistances. These are the things that's coming here to America. So what manner of persons ought ye to be? Now, during this time, you're going to have certain gold, man, mm -hmm. certain gold. OK, which are the men of the Lord. We're going to be out here, too. We're going to be out and about. Pilgrims upon the earth doing our thing, getting fed by Yahweh Bashmal Shai, praising Yahweh Bashmal Shai, giving all honors to Yahweh Bashmal Shai, all glory and praise to Yahweh Bashmal Shai, man. And in, but at the same time, it's not going to be pretty for you, so-called Americans, man. Trials, tribulations, calamities is coming upon this place, man. Gross darkness. And, and you had a chance to be in good standing with the Lord. But as while yet liberty was open up to them, all right, they understood it not, but despised it. Okay, so uh, yeah, man, you know, just thought it that's crazy. Back to back shootings again in the same day. All right, so don't think this is just gonna be a regular thing, it's a build up, man. 
It's a build up for Esau to take his guns away. Take take guns away from you Americans. Alright. So this way you can have an easy takeover. No resistances. You know? Nobody trying to come and, and, and stop him from fulfilling his enterprise, man. Which is the, uh, setting up the RFID chip system. And so forth, man. So, hey, man, stay close to your Halabash Shemal Shai, man. All right, Shalom.